I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. The Adam 22 cuck situation has taken on legs of its own. Now, after Adam revealed that he recently let a black porn star smash Lena, a lot of people have been weighing in on different sides. I think what makes it worse is that it happened a month after they got married. So knowing the tradition and history behind marriage and getting married, it was very, very strange hearing Adam say what he said. Now, I do read some of the comments and some of you guys said, well, Chiggs, doesn't really matter too much if both of them are porn stars, right? And yeah, you guys are correct. Now, Slim Thug has weighed in on this, and I'm going to play the clip for you guys shortly. But he also posed a very interesting question saying, would you let your wife film an adult scene if it meant earning $10 million or more? Now, I thought Slim Thug had a very interesting perspective on this, but it's also important to keep in mind that Slim Thug has been rich and famous since he was young, so obviously his relationship dealings with women is obviously skewed. Here's Slim Thug speaking on the Adam 22 situation. Tell me what you guys think about what he said. Do you guys agree or not? Push comments below. Subscribe to my channel like this video. I'll see you guys later. The question was, would you let your wife film an adult scene if it meant earning 10 million or more? If it meant earning 10 million or more. Let's talk about these cuz. <laughs> Me not. I might be on the wrong side of this conversation for you, kid. You are a very uh you you uh you know what I'm saying, a nice guy, married, you know what I'm saying? I'm toxic, kid. You got see the thing about me, I decorate my life exactly how I feel like it makes sense for me. You know what I'm saying? And that might not be the same as everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't even believe that it's women or it is some women, I would say that. What we like to do. What we like to do, Thugger News. Good bits in Vegas. Yeah, I be mean, that good bits in Vegas. I'm gonna tell you, let me explain my uh my scenario on this kid. So uh what's a good bet in Vegas? Me being a rapper, the type of women Hold on right quick, let me pause. Me being a rapper, the life I lived, listen to what I'm saying, B. Dot. Hold on. Me being a rapper, the life I lived, the toxic life I lived my whole life. I don't even believe in marriage. Like, I don't let me tell you why. I don't really believe in marriage for me personally. Like, I believe that certain people can get married and it'd be good, and I think it'd be good for them. But for me, I'm going to tell you, I live off experience. I have slept with so many married women in my life. I have slept with so many married women in my life. I have slept with so many married women in my life that I can't trust nobody, kid. <coughs> I don't trust no woman on earth. Me personally, you have a different situation. Like you might have a woman who went to school. Y'all, you know, not in the streets. Y'all ain't never been out. You know, none of this shit. I have slept with so many of y'all wives out here. I can't trust women. That's what I'm like, Dr. Omar. That's what happened to me. Let me keep it real with y'all. Let me keep it real with y'all. As Slim Thug, the rapper, I believe every woman goes i don't believe that no woman don't go like y'all y'all might say oh that girl a stripper she a hoe oh she a only fans girl she a hoe i believe that strippers and only fans girls sleep with less men and cheat less than regular men and women do regular men and women do everything i do is off of research and living life okay so let me be real with you. A woman who is a stripper, who is in the sex works world or whatever, who is doing, you know, uh, OnlyFans, they putting standards on that shit. They making you say, hey, I'm not finna fuck you for free. They gonna make you put on a rubber. They gonna say, nah, cause they do this. <laughs> they do this. So they most serious about, hey, now nah, nigga, you gonna pay me or you gonna, uh, you gonna have, you gonna have to pay me to fuck me or you gonna have to strap up. Now, a regular woman who is seeing fine ass slim thug after a show, 
And this is her opportunity to go. And her husband at work, or he gone and whatever, or a woman with a boyfriend, they going to go at the opportunity. And they going to let Slim do whatever. And they in a relationship, so they don't even like rubbles a lot of the times. They don't even make you say, like, if I just said, fuck it, I'm finna just nature this chick. A lot of people don't, who have uh, relationships, they don't even like rubbers because they so used to having sex without rubbers and shit like that. This is the true, you know I don't lie to y'all people. This is the true facts of the world, kid. This is taking it from Big Slim. This is, you know, I don't lie to y'all. I keep it 1,000 with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what's up. Now, for you to pass up an opportunity to make up the $10 million because of your feelings, let's snap out of it for a second. <laughs> let's snap out of it and understand what $10 million is. Let's snap out of it for a second. Let's understand what $10 million is. And let's snap out of it and understand the percentage of women who are already cheating for free. How many motherfuckers, friends, homegirls, sisters, you know, whatever. You, you, How many you know that it's cheating? They got side niggas now that they taking care of and spending money on. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For 10 million. They taking the broke own, nigga. They own. taking the broke nigga who finding you out, who going to blow her back out. They taking him to lunch, Tell paying him, him to do this, doing them. this. You know, you always working, trying to get the money because that's why she married you. Because you the nigga who had the money. You always working, trying to get the money. You don't got, you done smashed her a thousand times, bro. This is your wife. You tired of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's keep it real. Like, I'm not married, so I can keep it real. Right? You tired of that, kid. You're not impressed. You know what I'm saying? you like, man, all right, that's cool, but I love you, baby. The feeling's there, but, you know, in real life, in 2023, let's keep it real and take off what we was taught was the right thing to do for my mamas and grandmas, okay? Because ain't nothing traditional about no marriage in 2023. The daddy ain't paying for the wedding. Uh, these women and men and men are cheating on each other. Women are divorcing men at an alarming rate. Man, listen. Let me tell y'all something, man. I'm telling you, B. Dot. I'm telling you, bro. Think about what $10 million is, what it can do for y'all. And then I got dudes in the comments. They saying, well, ah, you going uh, you gonna, you gonna to take that $10 million and then a dude going to smash your wife and you're going to have to kiss her. Do you not know that your wife give head to and have gave other people head before? This is not 1930 when your wife, you get married to virgins. <laughs> your wife has been ran through already, yeah? Your wife has bodies already before she married you. She done already did all the freaky shit with her ex-boyfriend. He got video of this shit and everything. It's 2023, let's keep it real. Somebody has your wife on film Giving head, smashing. Sugar Daddy Slim might have your wife in my uh, porno section in my phone. Giving head, me smashing, threesomes, all kind of shit, bro. This is real life in 2023, man. We're not talking about before internet when you didn't have access. I want a bad bitch, all right? Let me tell you about me. If I ever was to settle down and get married, she would have to be a bad bitch bitch right right for me to even consider this it's like what the fuck i'm not gonna bad i'm rich i got bitch i'm sugar daddy slim i just pay for what i want for the rest of my life for me to give this access up i got i can do what i want to do for me to give this up this has to be a drop dead gorgeous bitch like she gotta be drop dead gorgeous off top for me to even consider the word mary like you know what i'm saying uh it's going against what i believe in so if i'm gonna do this it's going to have to be a bad motherfucker, right? All right? Now, let's go back to our, how we do this shit. What's the bet in Vegas that a bad bitch ain't been touched since Instagram came out? Nigga, they can't get out of high school. Like, niggas used to hang outside the high school. Niggas is in girls' DMs at 17, man. 16, man. Prepping them. Offering them flights. Fly here, fly there. Let me buy you this, buy you that. Back in the game, it, was um. it was only the it niggas was around um. the neighborhood yeah, you had to worry about showing up to high school with the cars, taking your girls, offering them money and shit. 
Now you have to worry about the whole entire world. He can work on it. I is. can't compete with these niggas like Puff Daddy and these motherfucking James Harden type niggas who get out of money. Like these niggas will trick way more than sugar that <coughs> shit. <coughs> Your woman had can't turn down that outfit. You seen these niggas' houses and shit? Your wife ain't turning down that outfit when she was young. She going. She going, she and she gonna be lost. At, at be, <laughs> it's gonna take her three years to snap out of man. These niggas just want to smash me up, man. They don't really like me. It's gonna take her three years to snap out of man. These niggas just they just flying me everywhere they hit. They don't really want to be with me. This shit ain't lasting long as I thought it was gonna be, right? It's gonna take her at least three years of getting flew around and about a hundred bodies for her to figure this out. That hey man, they just want to fuck me and leave me alone. They might, you know what I'm saying? This is what's gonna happen, kid. Like, I'm just, this is, I don't love nobody on here. Like, I, you know, I gotta keep it real with y'all, man. I know y'all learn shit in school and learn shit from your parents and have great expectations of what the future might hold. But let me tell you what the truth is, though, on Thugger News to my coach. This is the truth. So the baddies are gonna already have bodies. And the baddies are gonna have a high bid because. You competing with NBA niggas, NFL niggas, rich niggas who just rich niggas, African niggas. You competing with all kind of niggas if you trying to get a baddie, kid. How many niggas is in her DM, bro? So now it goes from, man, I'm just a baddie who just want a cool dude who like me. She ain't got this mind frame no more. And she tired of getting smashed and sent home. Right? This is the process. Let me tell you the process. She tired of getting smashed and sent home, right? So now she got, she's standing on, hey, nigga, I'm not going out there. You have to give me 5,000. You have to give me 10,000. If you're not giving me this, then I don't want to do this. Yeah, because everybody else in my DM and I'm high property, everybody trying to get at me. So what are you going to do for this? Because niggas over here talking about doing this. You can't do nothing but put a price on it if you a bad bitch. You can't be nothing but put a price on it if you a bad bitch. Because too many offers is thrown your way every single day. Exactly, V-Dot. That's when Sugar Daddy Slim tapping out. 5,000? God damn. I thought I, was, I thought I was talking some shit. You not, kid. It's ball playing niggas who's making hundreds of million dollars who can afford to do it. Give her way more than that 5,000, kid. They giving her ten thousand. They giving her twenty thousand. They giving her a hundred thousand, nigga. What? How you gonna compete with that as a regular person looking for love like this? Your high school sweetheart that don't exist no more. High school sweethearts don't exist no more. If you get an average woman, a woman who ain't really, you know what I'm saying? You and probably have to. You still gotta be careful, but. You might not be as exposed, but if you want you a baddie, this is what you're going to have to deal with, kid. If you want a baddie, this is what you're going to have to deal with. That's what baddies are. You know what I'm saying? That's what baddies are. That's what baddies want. Straight up like that. So I only want a baddie, right? So I know that I would never get married because the baddies that I'm, I would want they're going to have 100,000 bodies. But you know what? As a new thinker, as a new thinker, as a new thinker, <laughs> you got to repeat like Dr. Umar, maybe I would do what Adam 22 is doing. I don't see that as a bad life. All right? He said she didn't let me smash a million bitches. Man, take, that, take off what your mama told you. Take off what your grandma told you because that's a woman. And it's their job to trick you into keeping a scam going. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's what they sign in. As woman society, we got to tell our kids, the sons, marry a woman, take care of her, give her money, do all this shit. Like, that's just what the secret society of women stand on. You got to get married. Marry me, marry me, marry me. It really don't make sense in a lot of ways. It don't make sense in a lot of ways because... It's a bad deal for a lot of people, man. It's a bad deal for a lot of people. Options is always better, you know what I'm saying? So, as you think about it, a dude, 
a dude who just want one woman forever, like, I can't talk down on that. Let me not talk down on that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that could be something for regular people who want to go to work every day and just do some regular shit. But me as a rapper, I have I have had threesomes. It's niggas on here talking about, man, you wild. Them niggas probably ain't smashed five girls in their whole life. Like, and that's why I can't get mad at y'all for thinking I'm crazy. You niggas ain't never had a threesome. You niggas about to die only on your third bitch in life. You, you niggas different than me. You know what I'm saying? You niggas gave up fast. Okay? You gave up fast, kid. You got that, you got your third nut in life and was like, man, this the one, baby. You the one I love you, man. I don't never want to ever look at nobody again in life, man. I just want to stay in your eyes forever and just nobody else, baby. Just me and you. Like, some of y'all are some special kind of fool ass niggas. You don't remember that old song? If you don't know that song, special kind of fool, go look up, <laughs> go look up that song right quick. With a six beat, right? they been in game up. They ain't busting up nuts in their life to know that they ain't giving up too fast, man. I remember that fucking song. <laughs> hey, go listen to special kind of fool. If you, hey. If you've been with your girl, you only been with less than five women in life. Go listen to special <laughs> kind of fool. Oh shit! You gave up way too fast, kid. Oh my god! You are tricked into <laughs> believing that that is the right thing to do. You are tricked into believing that having sex with multiple women is a bad thing. No, it's not. You don't want to die not having sex with more than three women, five women. Like, what kind of life is that, kid? Like, don't fall for that trick that people try to tell you, bro. Listen to what I'm telling you, man. Do not fall for that dumbass trick that the world has tricked you into believing. Now I gotta go listen to this. You gonna let a non-traditional woman who ain't no virgin, who daddy ain't paying for the wedding, who got bodies and all this shit, but you gonna try to be a traditional man. Nah, I'ma wait. I'ma save myself. Me and her gonna do this. Y'all sound, I love her, right? Y'all sound crazy to me. Like, God bless y'all if that's the life you choose. All my sisters and brothers, they down there married. So I ain't knocking everybody. Like, God bless y'all if that's the life y'all choose. If that's the life y'all choose. But if you think that life is better than having threesomes with all the baddest bitches from OnlyFans every week like Adam is doing with his girl, I don't know, man. We different. Let's just say that. Let's just say we different. All right? Now, God bless y'all and whatever y'all believe and say y'all want to do, but having a woman that yeah, you can do a threesome with with all the baddest bitches that she bring every week, I would go for it. I would trade that. You can smash that nigga. They going to do it anyway. They going to cheat anyway. Yo, good ass girl who work at the, the library, she fucking somebody at work too. That's what I got to keep it real with y'all, all right? It ain't like it used to be, man. Adam is winning right. Adam is winning right now. He is winning, man. He get to smash a new bad OnlyFans bitch every single week. And for the trade off for letting her, her his dude her dude, I mean his girl smash a dude one time. You know what I'm saying? Alright, bet. Fuck it. Let's get it. Ten million, let's get it. If it's ten million online, let's get it. It's just different kind of niggas though, because decent proposal. That nigga only gave her a If you don't feel like that. Your emotions are in control of your life, man. You need to calm down and snap out of and understand what emotions is. If you rather, if you making less than a hundred thousand dollars and you not agreeing to this, <laughs> hey, man, if you making less than a hundred thousand dollars <coughs> and not agreeing to this, man, hey, I salute you, man. Cause you, hey, matter of fact, let me write it out for you. I mean, think about it. Imagine you turning the shit down and then you find out she cheating. You find out she already didn't hit somebody multiple times. Exactly. It's a nigga she been going to fuck. Right? Finding that out. I don't believe that a woman ain't gonna cheat, though. Look who you talking to. You talking to me. That's why I'm I'm ready to do this. I wrote it out, though. Special Kind of Fool. That's the name of the song. Google that and then listen to that. And then you'll understand what I'm talking about. I don't think I the gate, but I think every girl that mentioned cheat when she, she not happy. Every girl cheat, man. I don't believe that women don't cheat. I would say not every single girl. A lot of girls don't got the option to cheat. A lot of girls not sexual, uh, so they might not cheat. Right. 
Uh, it's different, Some you know. Girls might not be six most feet girls, if we betting in Vegas, most girls is cheating, bro. Most girls is cheating. So you probably already getting cheated on and ain't getting no money out Listen of the game. Listen to a girl mentality. You You'd rather not get married. See, that's what I'm trying to look. What I'm trying to, you know what? Y'all my coat, man. I gotta break y'all out of this shit. Y'all with me, all right? Y'all with my coat, right? We gonna keep it real, man. We gonna keep it real. Damn, that's nice. We gonna keep it real. Most people cheat. Let's keep it real. Married or not, most people are gonna cheat. Look up, Google this shit. Understand this. Snap out of what used to happen in the 60s before the internet. Understand that most people are gonna cheat, man. So you need to know that and before you turn down this $10 million that's on the table for you, kid. Like, so understand that, man. Like, don't go to work for 10 for all your life where you could just get this 10 mil right quick and get threesomes on the regular shit listen to a woman mentality a woman will ask to tell you, you've heard this before i've heard it before a girl will say i wouldn't do a threesome with my husband or like a nigga i love it had to be a nigga i don't love i swear i swear i've like, heard so this. the nigga that you in love with you not gonna get it you are a nigga that you don't fuck with you gonna get a threesome. this is how i come That's up in life is anything sacred though not a girlfriend not your fiance your wife no b dot it ain't nothing sacred no more. This is 2023. This is the world. <laughs> Hello, one more. One the one world one is... The, uh, yeah. I ain't got to lie to you. You not my boyfriend. Right. So you lie to your boyfriend? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So exactly what he said. Crazy. A lot of women on this live will say, I Both won't give no moves. threesome to my husband, but I will give it to a nigga I don't know. I will give it to a dude I don't That's know. Crazy. This is how Sugar Daddy Slim wins. <laughs> <laughs> this is what your wife will tell me. This is what is told. This is what your wife will tell me. I will give it to you because I don't care about my you, shit, sugar. Yeah. That's my first thing I say. When they say that, I won't give it to my boyfriend. But you know, I, or even if they say I won't give it to my boyfriend, I say, you know what? You don't love me, baby. We can do this threesome. It's no big deal. <laughs> you don't love me. Let's do the threesome. Turn up. You wanted to do it. You look at it on porn. You've been try wanting to try it. You just don't want this your boyfriend or your husband to fall in love with this chick and continue behind her your back. This is the only reason why you don't want to do this. And you are letting your emotions control your life in a way that ain't reasonable. Dude. You got to snap out of it, man. Save me a spot in the smoking session. I'm going to start smoking tomorrow. Bet. 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 <laughs> Snap out of the traditional shit. That is not what happened. What's happening these days, man? I ain't no good girls out here, man. Your wife, they going, man. I'm trying to tell you like what I'm telling you, kid. I'm trying to tell you what I'm telling you, kid. It don't matter what they doing. They going to go, kid. It don't. Do you think anything stop when I pull up in that Rolls Royce with that big chain on and looking like it's going down and you don't know where she at and she with the home? You don't think she going to go? Most of them is gonna go, kid. It's worse than that, Slim. You don't even gotta be in a Rolls Royce. Exactly. It's a nigga in a Camry that give her attention. It's a nigga in that. It's a nigga gonna talk on the phone with her. I'm gonna be like, man, I'm gonna fuck with you. Have a good day. He gonna get her just as quick as you will get her. Have a good day. I mean, it's gonna take him longer, but he gonna have her longer. He sent her flowers and shit. He tell her she pretty every day. It's not even a. It's just about taking. It's. It's. You know what you gotta do. Well, if you ready to turn down 10 million for your man to cheating on you, you need to snap out of what cheating you need to. That's what you have to do as my coat. All right. You have to treat you have to retrain yourself of how bad a person cheating on you is. OK, if a person cheat on you, it's not going to kill you. You're not going to die right here on site and it just fuck your whole life up. Whatever a person does, a person wanted to do. Okay, stop trying to stop people. Let people do whatever they want to do, and then you will live a happier life when they what other people do don't affect you or make you want to turn down ten million dollars. You'll live a better life when you can take all that off of take all the you know you put cheating up there like you got shot in the face. It's not that bad. It's just somebody's had sex, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? 
That's it. It was your mama taught you it was bad. You, you, everybody try to keep you in this thought of man cheating is the worst shit you can do on earth. No, murdering people and shit is bad. Cheating ain't that bad. Animals fuck all kind of animals around here. Every it, only in America, only in America is having one wife even reasonable. You talking to kings overseas? And, this is white people. Uh, rules y'all are following. Y'all are y'all are trying to be white people and follow white people rules. When over in Africa, where we really from, you can have up to five wives if you a king and can afford it, and nobody give a fuck. A lot of y'all are single at home, and you could have a man, but you might have to share him. But that's what they do at the motherland anyway. But it's not enough men to even be with all the women anyway. So even if all the men got with all the women, a lot of women would still not have a man because it's more women than it is men. I'm giving y'all too many facts back to back, man. I'm giving y'all too many facts. So the, what you need to do is snap out of making cheating the worst thing in the world. Cheating is not getting shot in the face. If you actually have a threesome with your man, I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy it. And I guarantee you, if you give your man a threesome, if he's not a dumbass and has common sense, he's not going to do it behind your back. He's going to say, oh, why do that when she give me the threesome? I just wait when it's time for the next one. I got that off my back. My girl go for me. This is what 2023 look like. Y'all want to let uh, people cut their dick off and do all this shit. It's time to understand that certain rules of life that you was raised on have changed. It's different. It's a different world now. Marriage is not what it was in the 60s since Instagram came out. And that's okay. Marriage is a lot of, uh, for a lot of people, marriage is a business. Marriage is we here for the kids. We going half on the bills. You feel me? Like, and we still love each other, but we know that we want to live a life bigger than that, just between us. We might want to step out, have a good night, and come back home. 